Welcome back to Project 613. Today we are going to learn all about the mitzvah of grace after meals, Birkat Hamazon. The verse says, Ve'achalta ve'savata ve'rachta, and you shall eat and be satisfied and bless Hashem. From here we learn the biblical obligation to thank Hashem after we eat a satisfying meal. The interesting thing is that in Judaism, we have many, many blessings. We make blessings before we eat food. We make blessings before we do a mitzvah. We make blessings on many life cycle events. But the common denominator of all of those blessings is that they are rabbinical injunctions. They are of rabbinic origin. The only exception, the one and only blessing that is of biblical obligation is the blessing of grace after meals to thank Hashem after we eat a satisfying meal, as the verse says, v'achalta v'savata v'erachta. Now, what is considered a satisfying meal that would require us to say the grace after meals? So from a, from a halachic perspective, only a meal that consists of a bread that's baked using one of the five grains of wheat, barley, rye, oats, or spelt, and that the dough had a majority of water. If a meal consisted of and had that bread in the meal, then one would be required to recite the Birkat Amazon, the grace after meals. For other foods, we're going to learn in the coming days the blessings that said on other foods, both before one eats and after one eats. But the only biblical blessing is the grace after meals, which is said after bread. Who actually composed the text of Birkat Amazon? So, interestingly, the Birkat Amazon, as we have it today, was composed by a number of different people. The first blessing of Hazan et HaOlam was composed by Moshe Rabbeinu, by Moses himself, when the manna fell for the Jewish people in the desert. This was his way of thanking Hashem, and he taught the Jewish people this blessing. The second blessing was composed in the next generation by Joshua, when the Jewish people entered the land. And in fact, if you look at the second blessing of Nod Elacha, it's actually thanks to Hashem for the land of Israel. The third blessing of Rachem, in concluding with Uvnei Yerushalayim, a blessing for Jerusalem, was composed by King David and King Solomon. And the fourth blessing of Hatov HaMetiv was composed many years later by the great sages of the Mishnah. Now, the Medrash tells us that even before the Torah was given, our forefather Avram used to have this practice of thanking Hashem after a meal, and not only he himself would thank Hashem after he had a meal, but whenever he had guests, and he very often had guests, he would always encourage them also to recognize the source for all their blessings and to recognize that all of our blessings in life come from Hashem. And therefore, after eating a satisfying meal, one should thank Hashem for all the food that one eats. Have a wonderful day.